Hey, welcome by this uh, demonstration video of the J2B synthesizer. This is it, this is the reset. Okay, so this is the J2B synthesizer. On it we have a display showing the functions that you can control with this button, this control, the function value which is controlled by this control. There are six additional parameter controls, two red green LEDs and a push button that changes between the green mode and the red mode as you can see here on the right. On the left we have the volume control, the audio output, MIDI output, MIDI input, it's now connected to a MIDI keyboard and powered over USB. Okay, now I will uh, let you hear how it sounds. So, uh, this is the basic uh, square wave waveform. I can change the waveform with this control. There are 15 waveforms available. This is the waveform 1, waveform 2. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Which is supposed to be noise, but it's aliasing. Okay. Then we have filters. Filters. There are also 15, uh, 16 filters. Actually, for every control, every function, there are 16 values. So the filters are difficult to hear because the filter is now at maximum. No, oh, two. Difficult to see when you cannot see what you are doing. Now I can control the filter cutoff frequency with this button. It's on maximum now. There is also resonance. Envelope control. Modulation. This is filter modulation. When I click the button here, it goes to the green bank mode, and now it becomes frequency modulation. PWM and here we have distortion. Okay, there is an attack decay release and sustain controls for envelope one that controls the filter and the VCO or the VCO the oscillator. There is a second envelope generator with attack, decay, sustain, release for the uh, for the amplitude. Then there is an LFO with 16 wave shapes, with a speed of course, an arpeggiator 
which you can choose from a pattern and a speed. Portamento, which works really nice. And a crusher, which creates really ugly sounds. And of course you can load save patterns to memory, which is not yet implemented. Okay, so let's put it on arpeggiator. It's easier to demonstrate. And try to make some noise. This way. Show you I'll show you the portamento. Let's change the filter, envelope, right, so ok, and let's activate it, and this is the can be inverted, which is good, you can hear it properly with the frequency. Okay, let's change the waveform. Funny lighting, by the way, is to get the display good on video. Change the filter to something number four. The MIDI keyboard works, uh, modulation and pitch bending. When you go to the bottom there's something wrong, probably. So let's try another sound. You can hear you can do some really ugly sounds. This is a really uh, mean synthesizer. See the rotary encoders, when I turn it slowly I can step by step go down or up, one step at a time. When I go faster it will go faster and I can go really quick from min to max. Which can be useful when you don't have any sound at all. There are no external effects connected to this, this is the raw audio output. Hmm. 
clean. It is not totally click free, unfortunately, especially on the lower values. Uh, no, that's not the one I wanted. I wanted this one. To get some. Change the elevo speed. Or the shape. This synthesizer is really, really good for mean, bad, um, aggressive sounds. of this LED doesn't mean anything it's for the moment just a debug thing but I tend to connect it I will planning to connect it to the LFO speed or the arpeggiator speed okay I oh, haven't heard the crusher yet which is really really <laughs> okay This sound is not too bad. When it's at 15, there's only one bit left. Change it. I'm still learning this thing. It's not so easy to remember all the controls. But as you can hear, it's already working pretty well. Okay, thank you for watching, and see you soon.